Yo, 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 you know what I'm saying? You back, you know, you already know where you at. You in Cartier world with Cartier. Uh, today we got another reaction video. Come on, man, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Uh, man, as you can see, we got Diddy on here. You know what I'm saying? Diddy begs for mercy after the fourth lawsuit, you know? 50 Cent exposes Rick Ross and, and Diddy freak offs. You know what I'm saying? That shit sound a little, little spicy. You know what I'm saying? A little, little spicy shit going on. But, you know, we already know, like, Diddy been having them spicy allegations and all that. Uh, shit, man, y'all really, you know, y'all really let me know what y'all think in the comments. We're going to really see what's going on, what's what's been happening. You know, we really logging in. I, I know it's been a lot of crazy accusations on Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know if they true or not. Is it fake? Is it real? Yeah, man. Uh, let's let's tap in. There's nobody else to look at. Nobody else to blame. Nobody that can really fix it. This latest lawsuit alleges the music mogul gang a woman 20 years ago God, when she was damn. only 17. A woman identified as Jane Doe. Bro, I not the gang rape. That shit sound crazy. Okay, nigga was 17. No excuses. But that right there, crazy, man. Alleges she was 17 when Sean Combs and two others trafficked her for and her. Club, we used to have these bottles, right? And on this bottle, they'd be, they be regular Moet bottles. Mm. On them bottles right there, they've been had something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they be like, don't touch them bottles right there. Damn, and only drink like them that. bottles right there. Put Molly all in her champagne. She ain't even up. Diddy has finally broken his silence on growing allegations of S.A. after a fourth alleged victim filed a lawsuit claiming she was gang-raped and trafficked when she was just 17 by Diddy and his associates. Mean Damn, gang-rape and human trafficking, man. Them some serious charges. I ain't even gonna hold you. Like, that's, that's sickening. You know what I mean? That's, that's like scum. Lowest of the low type shit. You know what I mean? While 50 Cent confirmed that all the proceeds from his upcoming documentary on Diddy will be donated to benefit victims of SA. Oh, and he also implicated clowning. Diddy's close friend, Rick Ross, suggesting that Ross needs to be investigated too. Dang. Rumors are now going around that Diddy and Ross engaged in freak offs together, and mm. Fiddy plans to spill the tea on all this and more in his documentary. As for this new lawsuit against Diddy, it has a trigger warning on the front. Oh, yeah, 50 coming for blood. He coming out with goddamn documentaries and all that on 50 and Ross and, and uh, this type of shit. He coming for blood. You know what I'm saying? Shit, Diddy should have should have sold that nigga revolt, man. I don't even know. This shit kind of crazy. Just like Cassie's. The details are extremely disturbing, and the lawsuit even includes photos of Diddy with his alleged victim. And while legal experts are now saying this lawsuit will probably lead to criminal charges against Diddy, Diddy promised he will fight for the truth. Sources are also saying Diddy will try the R. Kelly strategy to get the public on his side. As you probably remember, shit, R. Kelly did an interview begging true. people to believe him, but we all know how that turned out. With my crazy past and what I've been through, Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Robert, Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my <laughs> life. This shit was a class. Y'all killing me with this <laughs> I gave y'all 30 years of my hell. Robert. 30 years of my career! Y'all oh. trying to kill me! Oh. You're killing me, man! This is not about music! I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids, and I can't do it! Y'all just don't want to believe the truth! You don't want to believe it! At this point, we briefly pause the interview to give Kelly a moment. His publicist helped calm him down. I hope this camera keep going. No, we're gonna. This let is the not true. This is not, doesn't even make sense. Why would I hold all these women? So is this the end for Diddy? And will Fifty Cent end up exposing Rick Ross and all the others who allegedly enabled Diddy's crimes? Let's break it down. It all falls on you. Nobody else. Have your feeling is you. 
Whatever situation you're in and you're letting yourself be in is you. Diddy is facing another disturbing essay lawsuit, and the alleged victim claims she was just 17 when Diddy and Harve Pierre, the president of Bad Boy Entertainment, drugged, essayed, and trafficked her across state lines. The woman used the same lawyer Cassie did, Douglas Wigder, a high-profile attorney who won numerous multi-million dollar verdicts and helped take down Harvey Weinstein and many other powerful men who were found guilty of S.A. The lawsuit filed by Jane Doe has a trigger warning for highly graphic information of a sexual nature, including S.A. Hey, shout out to this lawyer for getting all them scumbags out of here, man. It states that the allegations are, in many ways, even more egregious than those brought by Diddy's prior victims. And once you read the lawsuit, it's clear why they said this. Jane Doe claims that in 2003, when she was only 17 and in the 11th grade, she was S-trafficked and gang by Mr. Combs, Mr. Pierre, and the third assailant. According to the lawsuit, the third assailant is a pseudonym, and when the name of the third assailant is revealed during discovery, Jane Doe will amend the lawsuit to replace the pseudonym. The alleged victim claims that she met Harve Pierre and the third assailant in a lounge in the Detroit, Michigan area, and Pierre insisted that he was best friends with Mr. Combs. Pierre then allegedly phoned Diddy, and Jane Doe claims Diddy, who was 34 at the time, convinced her to accompany Mr. Pierre and the third assailant on a private jet to come to his studio in New York City. Jane Doe alleges that before they left for the private jet, Harve Pierre smoked crack cocaine in a bathroom at the lounge and essayed her. The lawsuit states she was then escorted to a private jet by Pierre, the third assailant. Not to crack, homie. Oh, man, not to crack. That's, that's wild. Crack? What the fuck are y'all? And another man, and they flew to Teterboro, New Jersey, where SUVs were waiting for them at the airport. Jane Doe claims they drove to Daddy's House Recording Studio, owned and operated by Diddy and Bad Boy, and Diddy and his associates piled her with drugs and alcohol, eventually to the point that she could not possibly have consented to having sex with anyone, much less someone twice her age. She alleges she was gang by Diddy, the third assailant, and Harve Pierre, in that order. She then goes on to describe the gruesome details of the attack, and claims Diddy sat and watched as she was essayed by others while begging them to stop. The lawsuit states that after the third assailant was finished, Mr. Pierre took his turn at essaying Miss Doe, and then violently forced her to give him oral sex, during which Miss Doe was choking and struggling to breathe. According to Jane Doe, when Pierre finished, he left her in the bathroom alone, and she fell into the fetal position and lay on the floor, as her private parts were in pain. She also alleges she could barely stand up following the gang essay, and had to be helped to walk out of the building and back into a car. According to the lawsuit, she was taken back to an airport and flown back to Michigan. The lawsuit then goes on to say that, unlike many victims who have come forward after decades, Miss Doe can prove that she not only met Mr. Combs on the night in question, but was in his studio in New York City, with him on that night. Jane Doe submitted multiple photos taken on the night of the attack when she was just 17, and one photo shows her sitting in Diddy's lap. And while, and while legal experts are now saying this will lead to criminal charges against Diddy, Diddy broke his silence on Instagram just hours after this lawsuit was filed and denied everything, accusing his alleged victims of going after his money. He wrote, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. Diddy Sources say, close to the situation are also up. saying that Diddy will try to use the same oh, strategy no, convicted S offender R. Kelly used paint himself as the victim and his accusers as money-hungry liars. Shortly before he was found guilty and sentenced to 31 years in prison, R. Kelly sat down for an interview with Gail King and broke down crying and claimed that he was innocent and all the victims were lying. I'm going to tell you something, Gail, there's one you. I'm going to tell you something. What women said about you. What women said about me. What women, so nobody's allowed to be mad at me and be scorned and, and lie on me. Mm -hmm. So they're lying on you. That's your explanation. They're lying on you. Absolutely. 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 You feel that people have maligned your character? I have been assassinated. I have like been magic. buried alive. Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. 
Robert. Stop it. Y'all Robert. quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this I gave y'all 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. So it looks like Diddy will try this same formula all narcissists use, the Darvo technique, which means deny, attack, and reverse victim and offender. We'll see how this will play out in court if Diddy is criminally prosecuted. But hey man, y'all let me know, man. This shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? You see what's going on. Y'all see what the fuck Diddy got going on, man. 50 like, bro, I'm on your ass. For whatever reason, 50 on his ass. Pause. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't a... You know what I'm talking about? He talking about you doing too much freaky shit. You know what I'm saying? All these victims and, and, and allegations and all that type of shit. Like, we got to get on you. You know what I'm saying? He even to the point where he doing documentaries and all that. So, you know, shit. He said, I'm going to outrig Ross if I got to as well since you standing up for the scum. You know what I mean? If this shit true, nigga, you are a scum. You know what I'm saying? You is low. Nigga, you, man. You a low down, dirty oh boy, but yeah, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all think in them comments and all that type of shit, man. Let me know, like, comment, subscribe, share this shit though. You know what I'm saying? You in Cartier World with Cartier 